Hey Cancer, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to go ahead and do a reading for you and your person of interest. So we're going to go ahead and do a love reading. This is also going to be like a fortune reading as well. So I'm going to tap into different areas of your life, not just love, just whatever comes um, forward for you guys. So let's go ahead and see how you're feeling towards your person right now. Let's go ahead and see how you're feeling towards your person. So you got heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. I feel like you're um, you're giving it your all in this connection. And then your person got expressed your love. So you guys seem to be on the same page. All right, you guys go ahead and make that romantic gesture. So your person is probably going to do something special for you very soon here. You got playfulness, back of the deck energy. So let's go ahead and tap into this here you get six of pentacles so i do feel like you are trying to find balance within this connection and i feel like you're getting the balance that you need to be honest i feel like when it comes to matters of love there may be something new and exciting here for you with the chariot card but just make sure that you know, you clear away all the red flags first before moving forward in this connection. Because there may be some red flags. Not that I'm seeing any, but you may see something that kind of brings something to your attention. Just make sure both of you guys are on the same page and that both of you guys are basically giving into this connection equally. And that you're not assuming things, okay? I got the six of wands that came out. So I really like this reading so far for you on your side. You seem to be basically doing good in this connection. Everything's going fine. Let's see how your person's feeling towards you. So let's see. Let's see how your person is still guarded. Let's see. Ah, too many cards. So let's see how your person is feeling towards you. So your person seems to be focused on other things at the current moment. And then the Ten of Swords came out as well on top of that. So this this to me tells me that your person is still trying to overcome some pain, some hurt. So even though you guys may be talking, communicating, like this person is still dealing with their own things, their own emotions. So it may not so be that they're not interested in you if they do act a little bit out of character it's just because this person is still trying to heal something within them all right so that's something that you should know just in case like they end up doing something that you that that's out of character so cancer let's see overall in between you two what's to come Back of the deck energy, you got the King of Cups. I feel like they are going to be more emotionally vulnerable with you. So that's the good news that's coming your way. Is that they're going to be more emotionally vulnerable in this connection. Or they're going to try to be. Even though they've been through a lot with you. I do feel like they're trying to be emotionally vulnerable. And they're trying to put this connection first. Yeah. So let's see. Overall connection in between you two. Overall connection in between you two. Oh, wow. You guys got love. Okay, so there is a lot of love in this connection. And I do feel like it's going in the right direction. But just as long as... Your person's able to get over this little obstacle they may be going through. Maybe this is why they're kind of focusing on themselves. Like they, they're probably not ghosting you, but they're mostly like taking a, a while to text back or something like that. Because they're trying to get over some sort of hurt, some sort of pain that they just went through. And I feel like this hurt and pain has nothing to do with you or your connection. I feel like this person is very open, open with you and they want to wear their heart on their sleeve, but they're trying to get over that and they're trying to basically overcome some sort of past failures um, in order to be able to express how they really feel about you. Because I do feel like they have a lot of love for you and I do feel like they they um, really like you a lot. Okay, if, if not love, they could love you already and 
they want to tell you that they love you, but they just don't know how because their guard is up and they're just protecting themselves from getting hurt. Okay, that's the only thing I see within this person. There's nothing really, like, it's not that they're not happy and they're not grateful for you because they are very grateful for you and they are very happy to have you in their lives. It's just that, you know, other people that they have, that they still have agreements with is what they're, they're trying to end some sort of contracts that they have with maybe somebody else. Let's see what signs you could be dealing with. And that's why they seem a little bit defensive towards your connection. And I do feel like this doesn't make you very happy. The fact that, you know, they're so defensive or that they can be defensive. Even though at times when you guys communicate, everything seems to go really well. But then it's kind of like this in and out type of energy that your person has that basically pushes you away. And it's like making you want to make a decision to, you know, have some pride and let this relationship go. But it kind of leaves you kind of in the middle. So you don't really know. And it's unfair to you. It really is. So I suggest you just, just take care of yourself first. Always put yourself first. Always put yourself at a high standard as well. Like just because this is not really your problem. This is something that they have to go through and deal with. Doesn't mean you have to stick around for it. Doesn't mean you have to be there putting up putting up with it or waiting until they basically come back around or whatever, you know? Even though this seems like this could be a good connection. So let's see. Signs you could be dealing with. You got house four. That's you. Cultural, family roots, home, peace, comfort. This is something that they could be going through. I feel like you make this person feel very comfortable, very at peace, and you feel like home to this person as well. And maybe you, this is a sign for you to focus on your, your home, your family on things that you have to do. You could be dealing with an Aries, strong Aries energy coming through. And I feel like you do need to move forward and defend yourself and with the chariot card here. Okay, but I feel like this person, since I put this on their side, um, they could be an Aries, but they feel like they need to defend themselves, like they need to protect their heart because I feel like this person could be very vulnerable, right? They are the king of cups, so I feel like they do have a lot of love for you and both of you have love for each other. But like I said, there's something in between, coming in between you two. And this can be old pain, old baggage, stuff like that. What other signs could cancer be dealing with? And this is what you need to know right now. This is what you need to know right now. Let's see. You got house three. This could be a Gemini as well. Early learning, childhood, um, relations, irrational mind, and communications. So I do feel like there's going to be communication from this person. Or you guys are going to be communicating. Um, maybe not as often as you'd like, but you, you're still going to communicate with this person. So try, to, try not to be so fixated on them, okay? Because I feel like this person is keeping you waiting in some type of way. Yeah. And it could be because, you know, it could be because they're working too. They could be working. They could be really tired. They could have a lot going on right now at the moment. It seems like they have a lot, way too much, like way more than they could handle. And it doesn't seem to have to do anything with you at all, to be honest. So don't take it personal. Ah, dropped a card. And it's the Empress card. So this person wants you to know, their higher self wants you to know that you are the empress, okay, they see you as the one, they see you as an absolute 10, okay, you're like a 10, you're a 10 to this person, like, you're everything they could ever want, they think you're absolutely beautiful, you're absolutely gorgeous, it's just, whatever is happening right now has nothing to do with you, so if there is a separation, just know that, it has nothing to do with you. Um, I'm going to pull out some sparks of romance for you guys. And 
found some sparks of balance. Research a new meditation or healing practice for something you struggle with. Enjoy a special meal alone without any distractions. These are all signs to put yourself first. Go on a road trip planned or spontaneous. That could be just for you or for both of you whenever you guys do come together. Maybe something they want to do. Leave a note in a pocket or bag for your partner to discover. Play hooky for a day together. Set a goal together. Stay up all night together. See, it's like they want to do a lot of things with you. They think about, they daydream. They think about you a lot. They daydream about you at work as well. Write about how you most want to feel. Last one. Brainstorm new habits that could help you feel more rested and cared for. These are the little letters of love. So you got pride. This is you, I feel like. I feel like it's calling for you to have some sense of pride. Or you may want to just take the high high road. Like, because maybe they're just taking too long to basically reply or something like that. You make me really happy. I feel the mutual support and love. And I feel like it goes for both of you guys. When you guys are in contact. I like what I see. And then you get a self-care card. Taking back your power. So in order to take back your power, you need to take a night off, have an adult beverage, have a spa treatment, talk with a friend, have a massage, get a hot bath, a weekend getaway, a bear hug, <laughs> or listen to a podcast or a strength workout to feel better about yourself and to basically call your power back, okay? Because nobody can take your power. And just because this person isn't paying attention to you or giving you the, the support that you need at the moment, doesn't mean that you need them at all because you are coming up as the empress okay so hold yourself at a high standard call your power back and i will talk to you guys at your next reading or your other signs thank you so much bye for now